<laughs> I miss Manda. I know. <laughs> I have a lot to say. A lot to say. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Brittany and Amanda Tiger here at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Good morning, Deb. Good morning, Bella. Hi, Susan. <laughs> Good morning, Hope. <laughs> I know, lady. Hey, Donna. Good morning. Uh-oh. Am I in trouble? Did I stay too long? Good morning, Sarah and Barb and Jen. I've missed you guys. <laughs> I haven't done just a regular morning walkabout in what feels like ages. A lot of sunshine, yep. I probably don't need to be wearing this hoodie at the moment. There's a slight breeze. It's chilly on a golf cart, but it's perfect when you're standing in the sun. Good morning, Chris. Hi, Sean. I know, I'm gonna go. This is Amanda Tiger, starting her day off out here in Outback. Suzanne, I actually do have a couple photos of Amanda where her ears are up um, and just three days ago I got some photos of her where she rolled over and showed me her belly. I couldn't even believe it. Are you done with us? Yep. <laughs> oh, the last few weeks have been a total whirlwind. It's really uh, caught up to me this year, just how busy I can be this time of year when you're managing three online retail stores. <laughs> Not to mention the Tiger Rescue arriving and just all kinds of stuff happening. So that was Amanda Tiger that we just saw. If you guys are just joining in, you can always rewatch these. They will post automatically. Heather, I don't know if her and Simba are still flirting quite as much as they were the first few days. I think that they've settled in. Here's Sapphire, but Sapphire is preoccupied with Jasmine. Hi, lady. That's about all we're going to get out of her until, until they get breakfast. Hi. Oh, that's a nice chef. Thank you. Laurel, we did meet our goal for Giving Tuesday. I don't even know if we have exact numbers um, at this exact moment because people were still mailing in checks and all of the fundraisers on all of the nine Facebook Lives I did that day, the totals keep increasing. So every time somebody watches it again, you can still donate on those. So those numbers are still rising a little bit each day. We can see the new tigers. Simba is still out on vacation, so you can actually watch him 24-7. He was really far away when I drove by, which is why I didn't start with him. Um, but we're going to be heading over towards Max and Kimba here in just a moment. So congratulations to all of you guys that helped with the fundraising for Giving Tuesday. What an epic day that was. Hi, baby girl! Here's Jasmine. I think we're just going to stop at every cat we pass along the way because I feel like it's been ages. Yeah. Hi, BB. Well, it was hilarious because when I got those photos of Amanda showing me her belly, rolling around, being all sweet, she couldn't let me have gotten away with just that like that she roared at me probably the worst i've ever had her roar at me so she's like oh you got that moment of me being cute and sweet and serene so i'm gonna remind you that that is extremely rare <laughs> so that was that was something are you done too we feed every day between 8 and 9 a.m so all of their lockout doors are down which means that they've already seen the first set of 
keepers, which means they know the next set of keepers they're going to see have the good stuff, the food. So let's keep strolling along here. I'm in no major rush today. Yeah, normally today is Medical Monday. Um, it's also my rehab day and my PM meds day. So Mondays are really hectic for me usually. But um, today, as far as I know, we don't have any medical exams going on in the hospital. I think it's just visual exams, maybe some vaccines and stuff like that, but nothing going into the hospital other than Jamie's personal cat, Lucifer, <laughs> is gonna get some blood work done today. So I'll still have to make it out to rehab. Kali, Kali! Hi, baby! Here's Kali Tiger. You won't walk away from me, will ya? You probably will. <laughs> you probably will, because it's breakfast time. Yeah. <laughs> yep, today's just going to be kind of a go around the sanctuary, do some visual exams. That kind of thing, but nothing major. <laughs> she has been hilarious when Catherine or Afton are overfeeding the boys, uh, Max and Kimba. She will just attack that green ball over and over and over again and shove it into all the doorways and all the lockouts. Like, hey, look at me, guys. Look over here. I'm being cute. It is so silly. <laughs> yes. See, don't forget I'm over here. Ooh. <laughs> Best chuff ever. That noise that she makes is a tiger chuff. We like to say it's a hello. <laughs> I know. So goofy. We're just so goofy. So good morning, everybody. If you guys have just joined in, we saw Amanda Tiger, a little glimpse at Sapphire and Jasmine Tigers. Yep, when Simba Tiger comes home from vacation, he's going to be Kali's immediate neighbor in the cages that uh, Gabby and Keisha used to have. Yeah. You're going to have a boy neighbor? What do you think? That's been a very long time. Very long time since you've had a boy neighbor. Yeah. I know. Yep, Kali here. You can learn all about her at bigcatrescue.org slash Kali. She's staring out over the lake because that is where the food comes from. I know. So you can re-watch these lives uh, after they're said and done, either on our Facebook page or at dailybigcat.com. I know you're getting all riled up. Should we go see the boys? So Simba will be in all of these when he comes home, but he'll be out there for a full month. So I think it's he's halfway there because they've been here two weeks today now. Hi, Maxie. You know just where to hang out for food. Hi, handsome. He started stalking golf carts in the morning, specifically the meds cart, because he knows that they have treats. Hi, hi hands and Bowie. That's very nice, Chuffs. Uh, are you mooing too? Kali's been teaching you stuff. Yeah, Kali's been teaching you, I know. So this is Max Tiger. He's been here for two weeks today. I believe Max is going to be the next one to go on vacation. <laughs> so many chuffs. Such a good boy. They absolutely, the first day, they knew what feeding lockouts were. You just hanging in this back section? 
He's got a doorway right there that leads to a much bigger front section, but because this area back here has the feeding lockout, doesn't he have a good chef, you guys? And he's very mooey, which is very exciting. All right, let's go see. I'm gonna go around this tunnel area here, but Max should be the next one, I believe, that will be going on vacation after Simba comes home. Hi, Kimba. Hi, my boy. Hi, sweetness. Hi, sweet boy. Kimba also has a very nice chuff. What a good boy. So I told Afton we've got to try to get it on video. It's really funny. Um, Kimba in the mornings, again, they know what the meds cart is and that it must be carrying treats that we're handing out. <sighs> Very sweet boy. So right across the street from Kimba is Des, Serval, and Diablo the Savannah cat. And they're both meds cats. So they get AM and PM meds. And when we go to give them their meds, Kimba stalks you like I've never seen in my whole life. I mean, he army crawls over every square inch. Yeah, you know what your feeding lockout is. And I've told a few people we've, we should come up with a, like a spoof on Where's Waldo, only it be a Where's Kimba because Kimba will hide behind the most ridiculous things. <laughs> he'll hide behind his pool and you just see his eyes and his ears, or he'll hide behind that blue ball and you just see his eyes and his ears. <laughs> he's really, really stocky and sneaky and he's young, so he's got the energy. So Kimba is three years old and Max and Simba are nine. We got the records from when ADI rescued them, and we know that they were slightly younger um, than that um, when they were rescued. But after they arrived here, almost 18 months later, obviously they were a little older than those records. They will all have uh, honorary birthdays that will be January 1st of the year um, of their age. So. Oh, where did he go? All the way back there again. He likes to stalk um, the leopards over on the other side, even though he can't see them very well because there's that building right there. Where's Kimba? Where's Kimba? <laughs> he hides behind that leaf. <laughs> But to see him stalk you behind this pool, it's absolutely hilarious. He has been in his pool multiple times now. Afton and Catherine and I witnessed the very first time, but I've since seen a couple photos from other keepers. Max has only drank out of his pool still. No one has actually witnessed him inside of it yet. Hi, we're gonna come say hi one more time, and then we'll go. <laughs> oh, are you honking? You have a honk? Oh, Poovy had a honk. I love that. Oh, Diane, that's a great question. Vacation. So we have about 60 cats here. We have one lion. We have several tigers. They all go on what we call vacation rotation, which is two and a half acre enclosure with a big pond and fountains and tons of toys and platforms. You can watch it live 24-7 at bigcatcams.com. And the big cats rotate out there for a month at a time. And then when they're gone, we go into their home enclosures like this here. Thank you, Lucinda, for the donation. We get them all cleaned up and um, add new enrichment and fix platforms and all that kind of stuff. And then for the smaller cats, are Jaguar and smaller. They have a funcation area, which is 22,000 square feet, and they rotate out from anywhere from two weeks to a month. There's a lot more of them than the big guys. You're so handsome. The most handsome boy. Kimba's the most handsome boy. 
Isn't he gorgeous? So he's our baby. He's our youngest tiger, three years old. Yep, Amanda, we have one lion. She's, uh, she's very famous, <laughs> uh, Nikita the lioness. She's also viewable 24-7 at bigcatcams.com. That's where you'll find all of our 24-7 live cameras. These guys are ready for breakfast. The three boys that came in two weeks ago from Guatemala are extremely food motivated. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably because the circus did not treat them well and we've got really yummy food here because of you guys. Um, they're normal home enclosures, so I don't know if you can tell by the way I was showing you at Max, well, and even Kimba's, they have multiple sections that are about 15 to 1800 square feet each. And then there are doors and tunnels that separate them where if we need to close them out of a certain section, we can do that very easily. We never go in with the cats, so because of that, we've got to be able to shift them around. So they each have multiple sections of 15 to 1800 square feet each. These guys each have two of those sections. Some of the enclosures have even more than that. What do you see over there? Oh, now I see what you see. Oh, that might mean, if that's someone handing out meds, that might actually be breakfast. Oh yeah, that's just breakfast. I was gonna say, if that's the meds keeper over at Nikita and she comes this way, <laughs> you'll get to see him stalking. So good morning again, everybody. This is Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. And if you are just joining in, you have missed a few. We've seen Amanda, Sapphire, Jasmine, Kali. We are here with Max and this is Kimba right here. But let's move along. Um, I actually don't have the weights on the three uh, Guatemala tigers to tell you who's the biggest. They were all pretty underweight. And Kemba's obviously still a baby, so he's had a little less of, you know, malnutrition in his lifetime. But they're eating about 16, 17 pounds of food a day now. I do know because I saw it and it was incredible. Jamie took a paw casting of Simba Tiger out on vacation. Let's pop over and see Jinx. There's Manny there. Manny usually has a one track mind and I can't keep him in frame when he's <laughs> waiting on breakfast. Hi buddy. This is Manny, our Jaguar. Uh, but anyway, Jamie took a paw casting of Simba and we compared it to Nikita's. It's huge. <laughs> it's the biggest paw print, I think, on property. We thought it'd be Nikita or, you know, Seth and Andy had really, really big feet, but ooh, Simba's paw pads are massive. So had he not been practically starved his whole life and had better nutrition, he'd probably be the biggest. Hi, cuteness. You hear a bunch of sirens, but you also hear Nikita. And a couple little grunts from Manny. Did you already eat? Maybe that's why you're being content right now. I can't see your door from here. Mr. Man! Yeah, I think you guys already got breakfast. I guess they did the route in reverse. <laughs> yep, we've seen Amanda, Sapphire, Jasmine, Kali, Max, and Kimba. Now we're here with Manny. And you can rewatch this no problem Facebook or dailybigcat.com. So handsome. 
So, let's go down here and see. Oh, Miss Sendari is laying in her sun patch. Uh, for anyone wondering about Orion, he's doing pretty good. He's still not as, like, excited about food as you would want him to be, but he is eating. And actually, I've been watching him drink a lot of water, too, so that's very good. Hi, baby. It's okay. I'm not the one that's uh, feeding you, so you don't have to get up yet. I'll show you guys Sundari. She's really started showing her age a bit. Haven't you, lady? Still such a good leopard, though. Let's see if I can come over here. I can keep my shadow away from you, though. Oh, you might be too shiny over here. And of course, she's not going to look at me anymore. <laughs> so this is Sundari Leopard. Hi, gorgeous. Here we go. Soaking up every ounce of sunshine today. Uh, Teresa Funcation is the three cougar cubs. We call them cubs, but they're 14 years old. So Aries, Artemis, and Orion are currently on Funcation together. And it's been a real interesting process to get Orion his supplements and meds because the other two act like little sharks. All right, I'll leave you back to your basking. <laughs> get all the vitamin D, lady. So, Funcation's over here. That's where the three cougars are. But if I was to guess, they're all huddled up in that front corner. Sorry, it's very, um, there's a lot of terrain <laughs> that could make me trip and fall, so I'm not really reading your guys' comments at the moment. Leopards are the smartest and sneakiest. Hi, Jinxie. This is Jinx, our black leopard. Hi, most handsome. Hi, most handsome boy. Hi. Have you been grunting too? Jinx is about 20 years old. Well, then get your ball. That'd be really fun. Hi, handsome. He's like, nope, now I gotta go chew on something or scratch at something. You can see his leopard spots in the sunshine there. He's got a trait called melanism, which is what creates that black coat. It's something that actually does naturally occur in the wild. Completely opposite of the white coats that you tend to see that create white tigers or like our sweet pharaoh, uh, white serval. That's called leucism. That is not natural to the wild. That's a man-made trait through inbreeding. Jinx, here's his cart. So he's probably going to go get in place for his flat cat attack. <laughs> what do you think, sir? Are they bringing you the good stuff? You gonna get the good stuff? He's like, I gotta figure out which way I wanna sneak up. I think he did just make a noise. He grunted and so did Manny, so everybody's kind of being a little chatty today. He's showing you a perfect example of how he can go from one section of his enclosure to the other for all those people asking about our cage sizes. We have a whole website page dedicated to explaining how that works. See, he's stalking the feeders over there. And there's a cub in the background now following the feeders too. We're hearing all kinds of rare noises today. Yep, leopards have those long, long tails because they can jump and carry things three times their size up into trees. A lot of strength in that tail. Helps with balance. Let me see your pretty face real quick. Let me see your pretty face. Hi. Hi. Why didn't you play with your bag? It's 
a spice bag right there. He probably got that from the keeper tour yesterday. <gasps> Are you talking? I can't believe you're talking to me. Oh boy. Well, everyone, go play the lottery today. Because <laughs> we're just getting all the sounds, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> feel very lucky. Cat catching it on video, too, which is even luckier. All right, since the cubs are out, let's go see who we'll see. Like Cindy's training intern Melody. I hear you, silly. We're gonna come say hi. <laughs> Good morning. So they're going over to feed Jinx and Sundari. And then we're gonna see the three rowdy cubs here as they st stand there and stare at them. Has your food, baby? Mm -hmm. Who has your food, baby? That's Artemis there. Let's see, they're gonna walk the fence line. When they're in funcation, only the um, coordinators are allowed to feed them because there's no true way to separate two out of the three of them, so. in the background. Cindy is dropping Jinx's food into lockout. Maybe we can walk back over there. Jinx is one that's on the feeding tour, so it doesn't really bother him to have people around um, or to have people talking. Not all the cats are that way. That's why I don't always follow feeding because A, you make the feeders really nervous putting them on a live camera. Not all of them, but quite a few of them don't like it. And then secondly, the cat can get really distracted. And this is their best time of the day, so you don't want to distract them away from dinner or breakfast. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. Got a cougar train here. <laughs> hey, Natalie, you're here. Yep, we've been live for a little while, but you can always rewatch it later. Here with Aries, Orion, and Artemis. And then also Jinx is getting breakfast. No, I do not have children. I do not intend to either. <laughs> Go on, flat cat. So Cindy is showing you a good example of feeding. That's her feeding lockout for Sundari and the door is down so Sunny can't come in. That way Cindy is allowed to put her hands in there so she can get the food all situated on the plate. A lot of the cats, especially the big cats, are messy eaters because their heads are huge and they'll just push the food right off. So we have to kind of configure it in a way where they won't push it out. <laughs> Jinx. You see a little black face sticking out from behind that den. Jinx is flat catting. You better go get it, sir. He has not gone over yet. What is wrong with you? Jinxie. <laughs> what are you doing? He's just got a sight set on you today, Cindy. Yes. He knows I'm responsible for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. You better go get it. Is roaring again in the background. And Sundari going in and having breakfast too. Thank you, Patricia, and to the other three that have donated. I'm so sorry. I have not really been watching my screen as much as I normally do, but we have a lot of our regulars in the feed and moderators, so they can help you. <laughs> Yeah. 
he he's not sure about that <laughs> i'm kind of wondering if we rattle the door again if he'll like Yep, zero break in that concentration. <laughs> hey, there's food, you know. Hi. There's food. Yeah, and if your questions never get answered during the live feed, when I go back to my desk, I go through all the comments. But usually Deb and several of the other moderators have easily been able to answer all the questions. I'll watch Sunny here for just a second. Um, if you're asking questions about how we feed the cubs, yeah, it takes <laughs> it takes um, at least two feeders. Uh, there is a back section of vacation, so we usually get one of the three back there, and then they can be fed separately. The other two actually get closed into the feeding lockouts like this while they eat. As soon as their plates are clean, then we open the door again. <laughs> You can see the cubs are still over there swarming like sharks. Oh, now he sees. He saw him look over there. Yeah, he's convinced. When he's in flat cat mode, he's convinced absolutely nobody can see him. So I'm not even going to point the camera at him. You're so goofy, buddy. So it looks like it's a chicken and mush kind of a day. All right, I don't want him to feel spooked, so we're gonna head on out. But here's Sunny finishing breakfast. So mush is a carnivore diet, so it's the whole animal ground up. And that's what looks like hamburger there, so it's a red beef diet. She's got chicken thighs. Jinx actually has some chicken drums. Just look, it really does just look like a little shadow over there eating food. So silly. All right, well, Jinx and his morning antics. He really does have different routines with almost every, um, keeper. <laughs> There's the cubs again. I was going to head around the corner there, but we could also kind of finish up. We'll go to the cubs and then we'll backtrack to Armani, Natalia, and Nikita. I'll try to get a whole section shown to you guys today. I won't be around tomorrow to do a morning live, but Wednesday and Thursday should be back to normal. What are you babies talking about? Hi, pretty. Patiently waiting. Patiently waiting. That's what happens when the coordinators are the ones that have to feed them, because <laughs> they wait just a little bit longer. This is Artemis. Sweet Artemis. Where are you going? I uh, you know, I can hear you purring from here. That's Hutch. <laughs> I hear you. I shouldn't have gone in your line of sight. I'm sorry. <laughs> So Aries is the one that I was just following there. This is Orion. Drinking water like a very good boy. If he is having kidney issues, whether it's an infection or any of that, he's on a kidney supplement now. Yeah, you can always hear Aries purring and he's also the one that makes the really wild like rawr sounds and he bites and chews at the wire. Orion kind of makes little squeaks. Artemis makes like high-pitched girly squeaks. That's how I tell them apart is by their sounds. Well, where are you going, Hutch? Hi, Antum. 
Hi, my boy. Hi, my boy. What you doing? Hutch is an African serval. I think he now officially holds the crown for the chattiest, for sure. The loudest, the chattiest. He can't even like get a glimpse of you, hear you, or catch your scent, or he's screaming at you. So silly. So silly. How is breakfast? Was he very good? So Hutch came to us um, with a pretty bad limp. Um, when we took him into the hospital a couple months into him being here because I found a big swelling on his cheek one afternoon. Um, he got neutered and he got that checked out, which it, we never did discover exactly what caused that swelling. But we also did x-rays on him and saw that he has really, really bad knee with arthritis. Um, and here lately it's gotten a little bit worse. So he's been put on a pain medication, AM and PM, just to see if it'll help a little bit. But Dr. Justin says that really all we can do at this point is pain management and then potentially um, an actual surgery where it would take six weeks of recovery time at least for him in the hospital. So he doesn't really act like it slows him down or anything. So I don't know that it's a huge top priority at the moment. He's lost a ton of weight. He used to be pretty chunky. <laughs> Hims used to be chunky, but we put him on a reduced diet and I started having him walk the entire enclosure around and around and around with me um, a few times a week and that has really, really helped. Yep, Diane, we do spay and neuter all the cats, especially if they live with another cat. Now, the only exception is if um, we just don't think that their health would hold out for a procedure like that. Keisha was a prime example of that. Keisha was never spayed, but that's because her like frail health was a big concern the entire time, so we didn't want to put her through surgery like that. But Hutch has been neutered since he arrived. Frankie was. Filma was. So if they aren't already, we do try to do that. But if they share an enclosure with another cat, absolutely, we do that. We don't believe in breeding for a life in prison. All right, you done with us? Okay, we're gonna go. Then go, silly boy. I know, I love you too. Thanks for saying hi. Thanks for saying hi. Oh, it was so cute. Um, somebody sent me a little diagram <laughs> of why cats show you their butt. <laughs> because if you guys follow us regularly, you know that I have quite the group of cats that immediately show me their rear end when I walk up to them. And it was really, really cute because they were all very positive reasons. So <laughs> I guess I should feel flattered. Mouser. Hi, Mouse Mouse. Hi, Mouser. Look how tiny. Tiny kitten. Mouser is a Savannah cat, 15 year old Savannah cat. So it looks like they're getting ready to feed him. Well, this has been a fun walkabout. We've heard lots of noises. Make sure you guys go back and rewatch. You'll hear lots of moos and grunts and grumbles from Amanda all the way through to Manny making noise, two Nikita roars. We've heard some purring. We even heard Jinx make noise. We can usually count on Armani to make some noise. So let's stop by Armani, Natalia. I'll keep going if you guys are here. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not in a huge rush today with uh, it being a medical Monday where we're not having any medical exams, so. Hi, Mommy. You want to come say hi? 
I gotta go all the way around though. I just started scheduling and I can't even believe it, but Manny and Natalia's two year rescue anniversary is this Friday. I cannot believe it's been two years since they've been here. Yeah, well, it's funny. I've been a green shirt for over two years, which means that I can take photos of the big cats. And I've only recently started trying to take photos of Amanda because I just I find it kind of disrespectful to her that if I stress her out, this is Natalia, that I try to, you know, go over and get photos of her all the time. So I really don't try very often with Amanda. I spend more time, like, talking to her and saying hello as I pass by. Hi, pretty. But... She was out being cute, and I was like, ah, I have my camera, I'll try it. Yeah, she's getting her girl steps in. <laughs> so this is Natalia. Natalia came to us actually from a zoo in Omaha. Um, the zoo was starting to redo some of their big cat enclosures to actually give them more space, and they did not have um, enough room to keep Manny and Natalia. And I'd say the saddest thing about seeing how like institutionalized a cat coming to us from a zoo is, is just the fact that, you know, she has a, an enormous enclosure. Like it's a football field length that just kind of wraps around into different sections, but she will still spend a good 45 minutes after breakfast doing this right here. So just, you can see she's even worn in, you know, a path. The other saddest part was the first couple of times we took her over to Funcation, she just didn't know what to do. It was like too much space for her. She's never had that much space, so she looked really nervous, but she has since gotten used to that, but she definitely, she got to get her 10,000 steps in before she can catnap all day. she beautiful she's one of the rarest cats in the world she is an amore leopard you can see she's fluffier um, than our other leopards are got that fluffy tail so she would definitely be more native to much colder regions than say Armani or Sundari <laughs> that was a fun little trot there I think you were kind of wondering if you should run right at me or not is that the thought process <laughs> silly. <laughs> oh good, Armani did come back up front. So here's Armani. Yeah, we're not even done yet. I think what we're going to do, we're going to go see if we can see Nikita. Hi lady. Here's Armani leopard. Wow. Wow. Hi baby. You can see her forehead is healing really, really well. You practically can't tell anything happened. She had a little bump on her forehead. Luckily it was not anything to be concerned about but it was removed and she is pretty much all healed up now we're going thank you guys so much for all the donations today so I see Catherine driving Dr. Justin around so they're just doing some visual exams I think he checked in with the new boys oh did they pass you by I sorry you better go tell them they missed you. Yeah, thank you guys so much to everybody who joined us for the live when the Guatemala Tigers arrived. That was an amazing once in a lifetime thing to be a part of. And I cannot even believe, oh good, look who got comfy. I can't even believe that I was able to hold the camera that steady. I was just a shaky crybaby that day. Hi lady. So here's Natalia, finally settled in. It's been her routine from day one. She eats breakfast and then she walks and walks and walks and walks and walks. And then all of a sudden she finds a place to get cozy. And then thank you to everybody that was with us for Giving Tuesday. You guys just 
you rocked it. You blew our goal out of the water. So everybody who donated on Facebook, everybody who donated on the secure link, everybody who sent in checks, we are still counting the tallies on that. So thank you guys. This is Natalia again. She just decided to settle in. Yeah, we did nine different lives that day because we were fundraising for nine cats. Nine cats that we rescued in 2019 thanks to you guys. Yeah, see, I have a Fitbit that I wear personally, so I'm always wondering. I'm like, I wonder what achievement level <laughs> that Natalia's at. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth, we already saw uh, Manny earlier. We've seen a lot of cats today, so if you guys came in late, you'll want to rewatch this because we also got to hear Manny make noises. Jinx made noises. Amanda always makes noises. You watching to see what your big old neighbor might be doing? Next cat over is Nikita, but if I didn't catch her in time, she might be tucked away somewhere. I can't see her very well, so. You know who actually we're gonna, we'll go see if we can find Nikita. Oh, I see her. And then we'll go say hello to Cyrus. And then that will be a wrap for today. But rewatch and you'll see almost every tiger, I think, except for Simba. Hi, lady. Hi, big girl. Did you get a very good breakfast? Oh my goodness. You got a very good breakfast. Now, it is, yeah, we didn't catch her in time to not get passed out Nikita. So this is Nikita, she's our only lioness. all kinds of kitties. We basically saw Outback, Tiger Row, Tiger Island, and the Leopard area. Here, we'll take our Monday Zen moment with Nikita here. Look at that big old paw. Look at those big old paws, Nick Knack. So she's in her roof section, probably so that the feeders. Oh, what was that? So the feeders can. Hi, baby. Clean her water bowl out there, and then after that, they'll let her out there. What you doing? Did you hear a cart? Did you hear a cart? I hear people. I just don't know who it is. You got vines growing on your cage. Makes it hard to see you. Hi, hey, baby. Whoa. She's ready to see if there's second breakfast coming. So it's just uh, Bridget and Beth Ann back to pick up what she didn't eat. She likes to leave mush. Look at all that bamboo. I always love the bamboo over here. <laughs> On a mission. Second breakfast, please. Good morning. You should have eaten the mush, silly. Whoa. Whoa. I know. I know. <laughs> Susan, do you know if is Carol aware that that camera doesn't work? Baby girl, they're gonna open it and it's empty. I'm sorry, there's no more turkey thigh. You ate it all. We spoiled her yesterday because Chris and I gave her turkey drums, <laughs> and I think she's now holding out for like, <laughs> oh. will there be more? <laughs> no, sorry, I just gave you what was in the bucket. Sorry, 
Sorry, babe. Yeah, there you go. Splash zone. <laughs> Splash zone. <laughs> okay, Susan, I'll, I'll ask her. I'll make sure that somebody's aware because I did not realize that her camera was not working. But thanks to everybody answering questions. I'll definitely reach out to you guys in the comments if something did not get answered. Drink. Very, very long drink. It's just now fall in Florida, you can see. <laughs> Finally got cold enough where the leaves have started to fall. Um, Christmas tree day is actually more like for a whole week and a half or more. <laughs> There's no one day. Um, we generally, because there's 60 cats and every cage has a really strict protocol for going in and out of the enclosures and it requires that Jamie or Carol be present, then we, uh, have to do it kind of slowly and over several days. But I know that this Thursday we'll be handing out some Christmas enrichment, but that's like what the enrichment committee creates for them. I don't know if trees will be included in that or not. All right, Nick Knack, have a good day. Yep, every cat here has access to water at every second of the day. Um, each cat has multiple water bowls. Every lockout has a water bowl, but their enclosure has water bowls in every single section. That's why it takes half a day for us to clean every single enclosure. They get fresh water every single day. All right, let's go see this pumpkin. And then I gotta remember where I left my cart. I think I did a full circle. I think it's over by Cully, so that's good. All right, guys, so this was a really big live today. We've been live for maybe an hour now, <laughs> close to. So make sure you guys go back and rewatch. Yeah, some of the cats do already have Christmas trees. Where's Pumpkin? There he is! Hi! <laughs> Hi, sweet boy. Oh, I miss my boy. I didn't get to see you yesterday. Yeah, I did not get to see you yesterday. Did you come running? This is Cyrus Caracol. Yeah, you came running. <laughs> Such a cute boy. I know. And then there's your butt. There's your butt. I'm glad that you fire blanks. Yeah. So silly. I tell him that he has a wiggle worm tail. Wiggle worm. It's like from that old like 90s infomercial toy that was like a worm that you like learned how to like slide through your fingers. I don't remember what the actual name is of it, but that's what your tail is. Wiggle worm. Look at those ears. Look at those ears. <laughs> well, thank you, Sharon. I'm glad you like the live videos. We go live quite a bit here. Myself and Carol um, tend to do weekdays. Then there's Saturday or Catterday walkabouts that are on YouTube. We've been trying to do more exclusive lives for the supporters only. What was over there? Patricia, I'm not sure that all cats like truly know their names, but I would imagine they at least learn the the sound of it. But whether they're going to respond to you or not is a totally different story. Cats are cats. Cats do what they want. Always on cat time. Always on cat time. I know. I know. They're so goofy. Thank you again to everybody helping answer questions. Thank you so much to the six people that donated today. Watch from the beginning, you'll see pretty much all the tigers, leopards, jaguar, cougars. We snuck a serval and a 
Savannah cat in there. Now we're here with a caracal. We saw Nikita. Oh, if somebody asking about the buildings. So the building directly behind Cyrus here is a staff office. That's where Kitten Karma, Barb, our um, uh, appreciation donor, uh, all kinds of stuff. She's out giving a private tour right now. <laughs> and that's also where Afton's office is. That's also where, if you recall, where Baby Cakes had his office. That was in that building. And then the building that's over there that's next to Kimba, that's called the Leopard Lounge. It's really just got a restroom in it, and it's more like a storage facility. It used to kind of be like a classroom. I don't have anything to give you, sir. Sorry. And then there's a building out where I work, which has the office of myself, Carol, Jamie, and Jen. Yeah, it's where we have our staff meetings. It's where we have um, our volunteer parties. Oh, I see. I see another caracal. Do you see her over here? Here's Miss Chaos. Chaos caracal. Look at those ears. Your pom-poms. Yeah. But intern housing is way tucked in different areas of the property. It's not actually on the sanctuary property. But thank you guys. I hope you have fun re-watching this once it posts. I'll get back to my desk and start reaching out to you guys to answer anything that might have gotten missed. I will, um, like I said, not be here tomorrow, but I will be here Wednesday and Thursday. And we'll try to do some more walkabouts. No medical things happening today that are going to be in the hospital, so nothing to film there. And here soon I'm going to head out to our rehab area, take care of the babies, and get back to work. Uh, if you guys haven't seen all the crazy new designs and new products we've been putting up at bigcatrescue.biz, go check it out. Right on the homepage you can click new items. That's where you're going to find all the new phone cases. There's also a section for all the holiday apparel. Tons of good stocking stuffers on there. So make sure if you guys are shopping for the holiday season, you can support the cats at the same time. Ooh, that was impressive, lady. All right, thank you guys. I hope you all have a great day and a great week. I'll see you guys again soon. <laughs> right behind the pole. <laughs> oh boy. All right, guys, take care.